Eastern curlew, it's a critically endangered bird. It migrates from Alaska and Siberia back to Matunda Harbor. They fly between 9,000 and 11,000 kilometers. They come back, they're skinny, they're exhausted, and they use the time here to fatten up. The immediate area, it's a feeding area for eastern curlew. If you remove a feeding area, they're not able to put on weight for the long migratory journeys. And they want to build high-rise apartments. It must be a no-go area. Developing out onto the mud flats is totally unacceptable. Well, Tunda Harbour is a very important habitat. It's part of Moreton Bay. The migratory shorebirds actually spend up to nine months a year here. These birds feed and live on mudflats. These birds come back to Australia. They spend more time here than anywhere else. So to say that we're going to put in a large, concrete, glitzy archipelago when that actually means trash a Ramsar site, no, not acceptable. This is public land, and they're giving it to a private developer, taking away something that belongs to all of us. When Raby Bay was built, within two years, 5,000 birds that used to roost near that area had totally gone. They totally disappeared. So for the developers to say that, you know, this is going to have no real impact is not true. The fact is that under national and international law, migratory shorebirds are all protected. The advice was, this development is clearly unacceptable, and yet they totally ignore it. When the minister goes against what the Department of Environment says, there's something to worry about. Why have an international action plan and yet not do everything in its power to set the example? It will be a national shame if this development is given approval. Become curious. Discover the amazing natural world that surrounds you and then become active. We've been fighting this for a few years now, but we're certainly not giving up. These areas are important. They're important for birds. They're also important for people. So we need to learn to share the shorelines. We can live and we can have development where nature is a part of that development and is protected. I've been coming here for 30 years and it's my most dearest wish that my children and their children will be coming in here for another 50 years and that they'll see and they'll appreciate what I'm seeing.